how is that partnership with you and Freddie looking? It seems like uh, you guys seem to have a pretty good understanding so far. Yeah, so far it's been really good. Um, I enjoy playing with Freddie a lot. He's very calm and good on the ball. Um, kind of calms me down as well, um, you know, and you can see his his quality when he gets on the ball and drops into the pockets and creates space. So, I mean, it's, it's still early days, but so far it's been really good. Nico Moreno, go ahead. Well, uh, on that same line, Will, obviously there is that partnership, but there's also the competition for the position next to Raul. You know, how do you manage that and how do you feel like you fit in in this new formation? Yeah, obviously having three, um, I think three really good forwards is a good problem for the team to have. Um, you know, that there's going to be competition for, for spots throughout the year. Um, and that's a good thing. And, you know, I, I'm excited to be able to play with another forward. Um, it's been years since I've been able to do that. So that gets me, yeah, gets me really excited. Um, you know, and you know, competition's good. It brings the best out of everybody and that's good for the team in general. Has this new formation asked more from you, uh, in any way? Have you had to change anything about the way you play? Um, I think it makes me, you know, when, when it's a single forward, you kind of know, your spacing to be in, stretch the defense be high. I think with two forwards, you have more creativity. You're able to drop into spaces and get on the ball more. I enjoy it because I be able, I can get more touches on the ball, get more involved in the buildup and still get in the box. Um, you know, it's just, you know, it's a different mindset with two forwards out there. Um, and that's a good thing. Andrew Harvey. Well, uh, it's just a friendly, but tonight marks the first match in over a year that you guys have had fans here at, at the, at the, pardon me, at Lumen Field, name yeah. change. Um, can you talk about what it's like to, to have some friendly fans back in the stands? I know you played matches on the road with people in the stands last year, but what's it like to have Sounders fans cheering you guys on? It was great. You know, even when you pick up the ball in a half space and turn and go forward, even the small amount of fans that were there, you still hear them. You still hear them get excited, and you, you can hear the, the tension building, and it was great to hear uh, – hear our great fans back in the stadium and cheering us on. And it's something that we've dearly missed. We love you guys. All right, guys, I don't see other, any other hands up uh, now. I think Felipe, Felipe, you joined us late. Did you have a question? So we'll bring, uh, Will, um, what do you think the, the, comp the uh, competition will be? Or, I mean, how are you uh, competing for a spot um, with uh, um, Freddie Montero and, and uh, Raul Ridias. How, how do you feel? How, where do you see yourself in the future playing minutes with the team? Yeah, no, I, I, I bring on the competition. I've Throughout my career, I've had a lot of competition with a lot of good players, and I've continued to score goals no matter where I've been. So I think um, that's a good thing. Um, I welcome it. I think it makes everybody better. It raises everybody's game and it's good for the team. And, you know, it's something that uh, I, I think I thrive. I thrive in competition when there's pressure. Back to Jeremiah. Yeah. Uh, Will, how close – you guys haven't been able to play a ton of preseason games this year. Does it feel like you're, you're ready for the, for the regular season? Yeah, it's definitely been a different preseason having everything based in Seattle. Um, you know, this is <clears throat> year 11 for me. And I think every year we've gone to either Tucson or Charleston or somewhere. So it's a little different feel. Um, I'm sure it's tougher to get more, um, more games, especially with MLS teams with being in your home market. But, you know, I think we've done as well as we can given the circumstances. And I think we've got a really, you know, veteran squad that, I'm not going to say you can turn it on and off, but I think we, our mentality will be, will be ready for Friday. Mickey Turner. Thanks, Will uh, and Matt. Um, just wanted to ask you about uh, kind of along those lines, you guys have um, not had a whole lot of games. You had a couple uh, that were canceled or at least one that were canceled. How many games do you like to get into a, a preseason before you're, you think you're ready for the regular season? Um, and just uh, how, how have you managed to kind of adapt uh, given everything that's been going on? I personally, I, I would enjoy to have like two or three 90-minute performances under, under my belt. Um, I haven't had one yet. This was, I think, the first night for a lot of guys to get 90. So, um, you know, that's just the way it is right now. But, um, 
you know, I think you could see tonight there was still a little bit of rust in the final third, final pass, final finish. Um, and I mean, that's expected with with being early in preseason. But, you know, you always want to be able to um, be improving as, as the season approaches. Nico Moreno. Hello. Is it me? I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead, Nico. Uh, my apologies. Uh, Will, it seems like this formation asks a lot about uh, from, from every player, you know, in terms of how much space they have to cover. What have you seen from the team and how they've kind of got used to this new formation? Yeah, it's it, it does require a lot. I think it requires a lot out of the outside backs as well to get up and down. Um, you know, but I think if there's if we're communicating very well, it can cut down running as well because you know we can get in passing lanes and we can press our wing backs high because when they're when we drop into a line of five, that makes it way tougher. Um, and you obviously don't want to get overstretched where the wing backs are going high onto the opposing teams. Um, outside backs because then that creates a lot of gaps but um, overall I think we've done really well with our spacing and communication and like I said it's a brand new formation so we're still we're still um, making tweaks and learning the nuances of the positions and stuff but you know I think the coaching staff's done very well at explaining what's what's uh, needed out of everybody in each position and I think guys are adapting really well to it. Andrew Harvey. Will, you guys will open up the season against Minnesota United. It's a rematch of last year's Western Conference Finals. Um, and, and these are two clubs that a lot of people have kind of circled maybe as, as favorites to be really strong in the West this year. As a player, particularly given the kind of unusual preseason, are you happy to start the year in, in a match that might be really high tempo and high energy and maybe some hard feelings from last year on their side? Or do you, do you maybe wish, man, I wish we had a bit of an easier role in to start the year? Hey, I say trial by fire, throw, get thrown right into it. That's the best way to, to get ready. Um, you kind of, you don't want like a false sense of being ready. You know, say you play a lesser opponent and you, you mop up pretty easily and you get this false sense of security. I, I prefer, you know, hard competition right off the bat. So you know what, what's expected, what the intensity is going to be like, the level you need to raise your game to early because, you know, it just prepares you better for longer stretches in the summer and into the fall. <laughs> 